Hello everyone and welcome back again. So as you can see from behind me, pretty much all the tomatoes are gone except for this one that's left over here. Uh, feels good to have had a really good clear up in here. There was loads of little tomatoes on there that weren't ripe, but there was quite a few of ripe ones. Managed to pick a couple of tubs. And this is the last of what was there. A lot of these still aren't quite ripe. Few there, and then there is still a few left on that one. That plant looks okay. That's why I've left it there, and it's not really taking up any room. So we'll have a quick look around to see what's left in here. But it feels really good to have had a good clear up in here and have a bit of open space again. So we've still got one single tomato. We've got uh, hamilic sweet pepper still going and then there's some runner beans behind that and some lima beans in that one a couple of strawberry runners and in these trays i've just started off some garlic and two lettuces that need to be potted on and this one here is the cape gooseberry that sprouted out in with a pepper plant and that is all pe pepper plant ever came to like it much and then cape gooseberry seems to have taken over in that one uh, loads on this one Got a couple of the hot waxes still ripening up and a load of fruit just starting on that one. And then um, we've got all the flowers, we've got some gladioli. They're just starting to get flower heads on them now. Geranium and a couple of other bits. Got some purple lupins started in M2. Some sweet peas, I've been late starting the sweet peas this year. But we've got some in there and I need to do some more. And then in this tray we've got blood red spring onions, some beetroot and a second show of beetroot there. And some lima beans. Grapevine, I've managed to tie this one up to the top here. So we can let that carry on, reach the end, and start to bring it across here. Uh, these vines might cut one of them off and train the longest one along this beam here and just cut anything else off from underneath. But I'm gonna let that die back this year, just gonna let it do its thing, let it see how far it dies back, because last year it died all the way back to the main stem, which is out here. And as you can see from out here, foliage has already started to die back on this. and weeds growing around it but yeah the foliage has already started dying back on this so I don't know whether to snip these bran bottom branches off because my original plan was to train it along under here and have some out outdoors and some indoors I might trim the other branches off and leave one best looking one see what that does the succulents these need to go back in the house so we've got the mini tree the cactus this is a prickly pear it's a cutting off the original one that i had and the what are you called bonsai tree 
the yucca. I'm not sure whether or not to take that in the house over winter. So, anyone's got any advice on that, let me know in the comments. And then up on the shelf at the top here. So we've got some pongo beans right on the end. Some strawberry runners right in the front here. Some more pongo beans on this end. And then in these trays are all sweet williams that have been pricked out. There's a tray there that needs pricking out. And another showing of beetroot there. I am also in the middle of pricking these ones out, but I think we've definitely got enough Sweet Williams. And I'm also planting the garlic now, so I'm picking out the biggest cloves and planting them. I have started a couple of trays there, and I have planted up some outside as well, but there'll be a video coming up on that soon, so keep an eye out for that. So that's it for this video today guys, I just thought I'd show you the old polytunnel and we've had a good clean up. I do eventually over the winter want to wash this but that is going to be a task in itself after adding this mesh all the way along. I should have left gaps in between for access but we'll work around that when it comes to it. So I'd just like to say thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and drop me a comment below. Bye for now.